what is it? how you create image reflection effect in pixel r first you have to open the image that you want to use going to choose this one okay then after that we are going to set the image size into double it's horizontal uh, value okay so go to page then set page size so we have to double the height. So let us have a little computations here. So 270 times two, that becomes 540. Okay, then click apply. All right, we have to unlock this background layer here by double clicking it. Okay, so that's already unlocked, then show it again. Now we're going to move it upward. Okay, then after that, we're going to, do to duplicate this layer. Okay, just uh, click right in here and duplicate layer. Okay, so this is now the new layer that we have copied. We're going to bring it down here. Now we're going to rename this into reflection layer. Because this will be our layer to be used as the reflection. Then after that, we're going to flip, okay, this. Flipping this horizontally, okay, again, do it again, here, okay, and then flip it horizontally, okay, there you have it. <clears throat> Next, we're going to work on the reflection layer, so click on this reflection layer. We're going to create an effects using filters, okay, so go to filter, then choose Gaussian blur, okay. Now adjust the amount up to around, uh, say, 30, okay, to create this blur image under reflection uh, layer. Okay, 30 to 35 will do. All right, and I'm going to set it into uh, 34, apply. Then another filter, click on it. It's going to create motion blur, okay. Increase the amount to around, say, 5 to 10. Okay, and then the angle, you set it a little bit into 15. Then click Apply. Okay, next, let's have another filter. We are going to create glitches into this to create some effects, uh, which is about something like a reflection or a wave of water. So let's go to Interference. Let's use the Interference Effects. Okay, increase the seed into something like, okay, uh, in my case, I'm going to make it uh, 30, oh no, uh, 26, 25 probably. Okay, so that should look like if there's something, uh, a way B effect there. And then the amount, just the amount, okay, we're in, it will be situated. If you're happy with it, so click apply okay so i set it 26 and 8 okay after that you can still work on another filter which is uh creative you can put some wave effect okay but i don't want to i don't want you to recommend on this because it seems that it is not uh natural for that matter Okay, so I'm going to cancel it. But you can play around and try to uh, observe, no? try to discover some other effects that can be used in order to create a reflection. All right. Uh, if you want to add more effects on it, you can add some noise. Okay, so we can add some noise there. Okay. To create some what like, okay, something is going on on the water. Okay, then apply. <clears throat> now, next is we are going to, to put a reflection on the, uh, I mean, a color reflection of water, water reflection here. So what we are going to do is to add another layer. We're going to add here, okay, empty layer, this one empty. Okay, so that layer is already found here. <clears throat> now, uh, we are going to um, hide this first, okay since this layer would be filled with gradient. It's going to use 
a blue gradient signifying water like this for example this one okay and then we're going to fill this gradient with blue something like that okay then we're going to show it again you have noticed you will not see the, the, the picture so we're going to move this layer down for the background layer or or even even okay uh right then show this file all right so there's already the blue color layer there below Okay, so if you're okay, if you're happy with that, if you think it's already enough for you, then uh, you can save it as PNG. Now click File, then export this as PNG on your computer. Okay, so I'm going to put it in my desktop so that I can easily find it. 